What up, G-Life fam? It's your boy, MC Shadow. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, check out the playlist, all that good stuff. It's a quick one right here. Now, what I wanted to talk about was the Varros now to how the Varros were then, back then. There's a few factors that people need to understand about Varro life. Uh, one, um, Varros that exist like in areas that are nice. You know what I mean? Like in upper class, you know, locations and stuff like that. Like some parts of Orange County, some parts of uh, Ventura, uh, some parts of the San Fernando Valley, um, San Gabriel Valley, and so on and so on. Um, they weren't always as nice as they are now. You know what I mean? Like as time went by, they became that way, but that's not how they were back then. You know what I mean? Um some areas did a complete like 180, you know, where like all the raza was at before, now the gavachos are, and where all the gavachos were, and now where all the raza's at. You know, excuse me. So, you know, it's different. Um, so, you know, that, that that's one thing that people need to like, damn, like, how could there be hoods here? Like, well, that hood existed there way before it became what it is now. You know what I mean? Um, now, too. Just because you gentrify something doesn't mean that the hood dies. You know, they if anything, they just move locations. Or or if anything, they still recruit people and just represent their water wherever they're at. Even though they don't even kick it in that specific location no more. That hood is still up. Um, because I always have said it's not the area. It's, it's what it symbolizes, you know. Um, sometimes people keep forgetting that, you know what I mean? Like, you'll bang your water wherever you're at and... And you'll recruit wherever you're at and, you know, wherever you go, you'll be representing it and blasting it and all that. You know what I mean? Like, it's what it symbolizes. It has nothing to do with the actual specific area. You know what I mean? Uh, at the end, I mean, it does. <clears throat> cause that's what it, but um, at the end of the day, it's all irrelevant. You know what I mean? Uh, if that would be the case in homies when they move, should stop claiming the hood. Or when they're incarcerated, should stop banging the hood. You know what I mean? Because you're not in your specific location. You know what I mean? Like, it's what it symbolizes. You know, it's like your last name. You know what I mean? So it has nothing to do with, you know, that. And, and um, another thing is that uh, before, yeah, you would drive to an area, you would see 40 motherfuckers, 50 motherfuckers posted. Because uh, people have to understand one thing. Uh, there wasn't as many cameras back then or cell phones or people, you know, like surveillance or whatever. Uh, law enforcement was more ignorant and blind and dumb and, and you know, weren't on it. Um, laws weren't as strict and stuff like that. So, you know, you could get away with more shit. You know what I mean? Uh, nowadays, you know, it's a little bit more complex than that. As a, 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 And, you know, anybody will tell you this. A criminal always keeps evolving. He keeps learning and, and trying new methods and, and switching up the game. That's why law enforcement create new tactics and, and stuff like that. It's a game that they keep learning and they keep battling each other. You know, they keep, you know, who could top who. You know what I'm saying? It, it keeps evolving. You know what I mean? So there's going to be change. Um, that's just the way it is. Uh, nothing stays the same forever. You know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> so obviously it's going to seem different or look different than what it was. Um, and another thing is that it's more scarier now and deadlier now than it was then. Because back then you turn into a street, you see 40 motherfuckers. And be like, oh shit, I better go the other way. Or at least I could roll up, you know, like, you know, do my thing and, and, and you know, so whatever. Now, you roll up to an area, you don't see nothing, it looks nice, you, uh, you feel more comfortable, you're able to walk around and just like, oh man, you let your guard down because you're like, oh man, it's cool right here. And next you know, they, they just, all it takes is one second, one time, one time. They say they're never there, but all it takes is one time that you pass by, one second for them to actually be right there and then, then just come, come out, like, just come out through the back and, and, and smoke you and that's it. All the times you say that. It ain't active. It looks nice. It's fine. None of that mattered, homie. Bam. You go. You know what I mean? Um, that's why it's like more deadlier now. Like, you walk into an area, you think, that, oh, man, there ain't nothing right here. And they you know, like, because you don't really know. Because, you know, you're not really there 24-7. If you're not somewhere 24-7, you don't really know what be cracking uh, all the time right there. You know what I mean? Only those who are there 24-7 know what be happening there 24-7. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, you know, there's some, there's some, the homies know how to do their thing. I mean, like, they could be watching you from a location that you, you, they could see you, but you can't see them. You know what I mean? And, and, you know, they'll bait you into getting, like, closer or whatever, or just wait and like a, like a, like a mousetrap, you know what I mean? And, and gobble you up alive. You know, one could come this way, one could go that way, like, 
trust me, homie. Homies are not stupid, dog. And they know what they're doing out there. You know what I mean? Um, that's why it's like, yeah, you know, when I do the G series, you know, some of these neighborhoods don't look like how they, you know, look then. Um, but that doesn't mean anything because if you look, the areas, every hood you look go to, the hoods look nice, you know. It's not like how it used to be before. Everywhere you go. Yet the crime rate and the murder rate is still at its all-time high. Like, why is that? You know what I mean? Like, come on now. You know what I mean? So, it's like, everywhere you're at, just approach with caution. Like, don't ever... You getting cocky or, or, or thinking that, ah, man, these fools ain't about it or they ain't out here whatever. The When you start thinking like that is when you will get caught and got. You know what I mean? It's, Always stay on your toes. You know what I mean. You never know. Don't ever, don't ever underestimate anybody or anywhere. Um, it's just my opinion. You know, it's just a quick one. I'm shadowy up.